This is iPhone 12 mini review after using 12 weeks. Okay, this is uh, the iPhone 12 mini. The size with uh, my hand. Yeah, I like uh, this size. Very light. And I like it so fast. With this uh, OS update, uh, the app is automatically organized. This is how you look like for my phone app setting for home page. The widget, new functions, the size, button positions are almost perfect, very well positioned. I dropped this phone once, yeah, thank god I used the case, yeah, it protected. This is without the case. And uh, let's see the lights and these lights. I like this price. It's uh, 730 with the premium chipset. It's a great price. Still face on now is uh, very works very well. And uh, very low error. It always works. And uh, it's quite light. Yeah, I like a light phone. Only 135 grams. And it's quite fast, almost no lag, and with the Qualcomm's modem, finally the 5G network and the Wi Fi network's uh, performance is very good, and uh, standard water and dust protection, very good, and uh, well designed button, very clicky, very good. And uh, Apple's uh, strong power, strong fundamental hardware software optimization. Very works well. And even better camera than previous iPhone generation. Yeah, this is good. So this is uh, things I like. This is uh, things that I don't like. In order to check the notification I still cannot check my notification with my only one hand I owe it I should uh, switch my phone position like this switch down something like this but uh, with uh, this default position I cannot check it or use it on other hand okay this is iPhone's user interface. There are so many notifications we receive every day. This is how we check notification. Usually on other hand, swipe down. This is search just search. Oh, no function. This is no function. Just go home. There's no way to check notification with one hand. I cannot imagine for bigger iPhone how people check their new notification. You always use another hand. I think they are so stubborn. They do not update it. They do not provide any other options. And uh, this Badger, I think this is too much for the current 
technologies. For the current technology, this badger should be smaller, I think. I think this still is still too, too big. Yeah, but the uh, and uh, still they are using lightning cable. Very stubborn. Yeah, boring, boring wires. Oh, I'm sorry. At the beginning, I thought that it's a good size, but uh, after using it for a while, I realized that maybe the display size is too small for the current generation is too small and the second with the mask with the current covid pandemic face on now it's not working so i need to always put the my pin with the mask this is now quite convenient and uh, yeah recently they announced the beta with the apple watch uh, with the mask, you can unlock it. But uh, not everyone using the their Apple Watch. So, yeah, I hope they added another way to unlock the phone. And uh, I think uh, current notch badger is still too thick. I said uh, the display size is too small, but uh, I think it's even better if they can reduce the their badger size and notch size then it'll be even better and uh, still they can do it but uh, apples are apple they do not adding always on display it is quite standard in all android phone apple is so stubborn they don't adopt it, but they adopt it for the Apple Watch. So they are not very consistent. They are so stubborn. So no always on display. Another thing I don't like is that they are still quite restricted on the customization. So they we cannot change, for example, app icon size. There's so many restrictions, which means that uh, it's quite boring. Even I use the most current generation, I still feel like I'm using the quite old generation of iPhone. Still, it's quite boring. Boring OS. Next one is notification. And next one is uh, that I personally use Google service a lot. And the Google service is not well integrated as much as Android phones. So YouTube and Google News and Google Maps, I think the compared to Android phones app version, iPhone version is not very well updated, integrated very well. So I most usually use Google's service and um, I actually I, that part I will be disappointed. And finally the I think uh, personally think that I miss the some unexpected but needed innovations when Stephen Jobs was alive. Unfortunately, personally, as a fan of Apple, I do not see the more surprising wow innovations anymore. Still quite boring. I think, yeah, I'm sorry. It's a uh, boring phone. So this is my final summary of uh, iPhone 12 mini review. 
is the best iPhone yet, but it's boring now. Yeah, that's my personal review. So I switch it to the Galaxy S21. I gonna unload my review on my new phone. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye bye.